Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on how to input recurring decimals on a Casio ClassWiz. Inputting a recurring decimal on the ClassWiz is a little bit trickier than in previous models of the Casio calculator. There is no direct button to be able to do so, but I've got a little tip here, and that is it that if you keep on inputting the recurrence until you see a left-hand arrow, then the calculator will recognize that as a recurring uh, decimal and therefore give the fraction equivalent. So I'm gonna start off by inputting 0.3 recurring, and what you need to do is to just repeatedly press three until the point that you see the left-hand arrow come up, then that way you know that you've got enough digits on there. And if you press equals at this stage, uh, then here you can see the calculator will register that as one third. Let's try that with another recurring decimal, this time 0.4 recurring, uh, which is four ninths. So keep pressing the four until you see the left-hand arrow, and then at that point you can press equals and here's the fraction equivalent, four ninths. Let's try an example where the recurrence doesn't start uh, at the beginning. So in this case, 0 0.91 and then six recurring. So the recurrence is just in the sixes after the first decimal place of nine and the second decimal place of one. That will recognize the fraction 11 twelfths. However, if I press the SD here, it does give it as a rounded decimal rather than showing it as a recurring decimal. Final one to input, this time I'm going to input a two digit recurrence, so 0.21 recurring. So this time you have to input the recurrence 21 repeatedly until you see the arrow on the left hand side. At this point you can press equals and here we have a fraction equivalent, 7 30 thirds. So it's recognized as the recurring decimal 0.21 recurring. And again, if you press SD, it just gives you a decimal approximation there. It doesn't display it as a recurring decimal as with previous models. So there you go, how to input a recurring decimal and find its fraction equivalent on the Casio ClassWiz. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.